Um, I've had um, what to some people looks like quite a mixed background, but I think it, it makes sense. Um, <laughs> essentially, I've been down two streams of work, which has been in the, uh, the, the, the marketing and, and comms side of, of the world. And then on the other side was, was technology. And I've, I've often done a, uh, a stint in one and then gone on to another, or I've, I run the two side by side at different points in my life. Um, and that, that started very young, started with being a, a computer games tester at points in my, in my teens. Um, and then through work experience and um, with uh, uh, a company many will help you remember called Scion, uh, made the little hand, uh, handheld organizers and were really, were really the, uh, the market leaders in that at the time. Um, and then I had the opportunity to, to work um, in some, some other areas or uh, did some time with um, Oxford University Press, but these are very, all very young and I, and I, I had that dual interest in, in technology, my real in a geek and then interested in, in communication and, and what, what it means to people and that was in marketing. Uh, and that led me through working with the likes of uh, Daily Telegraph, uh, with the BBC, uh, BBC uh, trained me as a broadcast journalist. Um, he says with a huge pause, obviously not very good. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and then with a small magazine group based in the Southwest, but with, a, with an international readership, which was good fun. And, and in between that, I was uh, still popping in and out of technology for, for a year or so here, or a couple of years, and, and uh, that included heavy industry, oil and gas um, emergency systems, and, uh, and, and some of the things like that. 